Suppose your friend is stuck in the maze. One way to get them out is trying every single path. This is like a recursive function, a brute force wanderer lost in the maze. It's all engine but no GPS. But what if we could give that wanderer a map and a pencil making them an explorer? Then instead of exploring all the paths, what if the explorer tries the different paths incrementally? Where when they hit the dead ends, they trace back the steps and try a different route. And that's backtracking. Formally, we can define backtracking as an algorithm that tries different solutions incrementally, kind of in the depth first search way, undoing the choices that led to dead ends. So, to summarize, depth first search is the overall exploration strategy, which is go as deep as possible down one path before trying another. Recursion is the engine that drives this deep dive. A brute force approach is a naive DFS that explores every single node. And backtracking is a smarter DFS. It uses recursion to go deep, but intelligently prunes dead ends, telling the engine, stop, wrong way, go back. So, next time you are solving a maze like problem, you are likely using a form of a DFS. Just make sure it's the backtracking kind. Subscribe for more coding concepts.